Big smile from referee Margaret Domka, who's from the United States of America. Andressa, the Brazilian number six, looked a little bit nervous there. It can be nerve-wracking. They are, however, a pretty experienced unit, this Brazilian side. And so the uh, handshake for peace going on here. It's in collaboration with the Nobel Peace Center. And it's going to happen at every game right throughout the tournament. Elena Linari is going to powerfully drive this. And what a goal that is! That is a stunning strike. Danielle saw it all the way. She could do nothing about it. 38 minutes gone. What a hit. You cannot strike a football any better than that. Fairly fizzed in. Nowhere near it, Danielle. What a strike. And the lead that their possession and passing football has been threatening for the entire half has arrived. Free kick Brazil. The yellow card for Patricio as well. Somebody came on about 10 minutes ago, already in the book. Ketlin couldn't reach it. Oh, it's nicely done. Andressa with another one of those pieces of skill. And now then, this could potentially be a problem. De Crescio is going to have to go here. Two yellows make a red, and the substitute has been sent off. Well, I don't think, although she is obviously distraught, she can have too many complaints about it. Having been booked, it was a very dangerous attempt because she knew if she mistimed it, what the repercussions would be. Well, there's just no other decision the referee could make. So now, Italy down to 10 for the last quarter of an hour or so. And that's a miscue from Coppola. Guides. That's better football from Brazil. And there are three in the middle here. I went for the shot, it's off the bar. Glaucia. Well, Italy surviving by the skin of their teeth. Oliveira, who went close with that free kick in the first half, Went even closer there. Linari with a header away. Ledry. Oh, that's a great try. A fine save as well by Danielle as Claudio Mauri tried to strike one across her into the far corner. That's an excellent save. You can see to the left of your screen how many players Brazil committing for. They have to now. Now Amanda. Nicely done. Oh, she's gone for goal. And she's put it in. I think she mishit that, you know. But it's found the corner and Brazil have a lifeline right at the end. Just got the impression from her body language that she was kind of surprised. And I think she was trying it, seeing it again. She just looked surprised when it went in. But Amanda has surely rescued a point for Brazil. Over the top of the keeper, and it nestled in the far corner. And we've still got four minutes of additional time to go here. That will be a real blow to the solar plexus for the Italians. And that is full time here in Saitamar. It's finished level thanks to a wonderful opportunist equaliser right at the death from Amanda in stoppage time after a terrific free kick from Elena Linari had given the Italians a shot lead in the first half and a deserved lead too. The game also turning on the sending off of the Italian substitute Federica Di Criscio, 74 minutes in for a second bookable offence, a foul that saw the end of Andressa who was injured and couldn't continue. So after all that drama here at the Camarba Stadium in Saitama, the final score in this opening game in Group B is finished all square, Brazil 1, Italy 1.